Hello, how is it going? It is Fake Hero coming at you once again, and this is actually going to be my second take at this video because I didn't have my microphone turned on, and it's 3:44 a.m. in the morning as I'm finding this out. But as you can already see on the screen, there, guys, new Rune Terror cards, new Rune Terror cards. Boy, was I excited! But man, is it late? Let's talk about the cards. Firstly, we're obviously going to highlight the new champion card, uh, Quinn. So basically, we're also getting a new keyword too. We probably should talk about this right now really quickly because it might be a little bit confusing, but I believe I figured it out. So the new keyword scout, and you can see the icon just there. The first time only scout units attack each round, ready your attack. I basically saw the video here that's on their Twitter page, by the way, I'll leave a link to their Twitter uh, if you wanna go check out some of these posts or the cards. Uh, basically, a uh, ready attack is uh, once your scout units attack, they're just basically going to attack again. Now, it might be a little bit confusing. You might compare it to uh, rally or something like that, but it, there's no like initiative to your opponent, I believe. So no like slow spells, no summoning minions. They basically attack and then they attack again. So that's pretty ridiculous. Anyway, let's talk about Quinn. When I'm summoned, summon Bella. Bella is a 2-1 minion with Challenger alongside Quinn, which is kind of cool. It suits the champion. It makes a lot of sense if you're familiar with League of Legends at all. Then you know what Quinn does with the bird. Um, she levels up when I've seen you attack four times. So I believe she has to be on the field for that to happen. But basically, uh, we'll show you when she levels up. We have eight cards in total to show you guys, by the way. Now, bear with me. I'm going to quickly do this. So once Quinn uh, flips or levels up, she becomes a five, uh, four, five. An attack, summon Vela, challenging the strongest enemy. Now at first, I kind of was confused by the whole challenging the strongest enemy, as you can see there. But because it kind of coincides with the fact that when you attack, you attack again automatically, no control, I believe. Then uh, when your Vela challenges the strongest enemy, then it is kind of irrelevant and it is kind of a mechanic. It also could be the fact that uh, <laughs> it's already the Hearthstone effect and the guys over in the Rune Terra building have decided, oh shit, we weren't happy with how Challenger really is. We're going to try and change it for the future of Rune Terra. But I guess we should probably show you Vela, right? And this will probably make things make a lot more sense. So Vela is a 2 mana 2-1 two and it has the uh, Challenger plus the Scout effect too. So she uses Scout unit which makes her a bit more valuable alongside Quinn's. Uh, so that is pretty OP I guess. But I we'll have to wait and see. Let's check out some more cards and we'll show you probably next what I believe hasn't been specified yet. But I'm imagining that this would be... Uh, Quinn's champion card or champion spell. So the binding assault, the slow spell, and it summons a Vela. This is cheap. We haven't seen as many cheap champion spells, so it's kind of refreshing. Uh, probably the lower value end of things, but summoning Vela, it's nice. It's quick shuffle and quick. I, I, d I doubt that you'll even be ever playing this champion card, but there you go. Binding assault. Let's get on to some other interesting cards. So this is kind of the theme of things. It's all Demacia, it's all scouts. Okay, so a Great Hall Companion, uh, five mana, four, five, understudded, but brings the scout tag. Very vanilla, but if you're trying to make a scout deck work at the moment, you've only got X amount of cards, so you pretty much run all of these. Uh, first, I'll show you this card before we show you a card alongside it. This is a three mana, four, four. That's pretty crazy in Runeterra aspect. Uh, there's not as many vanilla cards with high stats. So this is pretty strong. But then, let me show you this ridiculous game changer of a card. Grizzled Ranger. Now, if you see, it's a 4 mana 4-1 four with the last breath tag to summon the Loyal Badger. Now, just in case, it is the card I just showed you previously. That's crazy. Uh, I'll tell you two things why this card's strong and uh, another why this card is strong uh and maybe why this card is slightly weaker so basically uh, anyone that can play vile feast or blades edge in their deck will find a little bit more value but barely any value against this card in the matchup uh if in any mid-range environment or i fear mid-range uh mirror matchups that have this card and whoever gets this card and gets the big trade like hitting this 4-1 into their 4-4 and then summoning a 4-4 
if that's a situation that happens this card is just nuts and even if they vile feast it you get a 4-4 afterwards so that's crazy very mid-rangey card very uh ridiculous in terms of stat so like you get an 8-7 in stats for four mana and at the moment outside of silences like purify that's op that's op i think we have one more card to show you guys okay green fen warden uh brings a scout tag it's a three mana two two it has barrier very vanilla very introduction i think ever in the future most of these current cards are pretty average obviously quinn is quinn so it's champion card if you're trying to do a scout deck you'll need probably be using quinn uh, but there's a lot of vanilla cards here except for that badger ranger that seems ridiculous ridiculous pretty sure that wraps up most of the cards here to show you guys today i will leave you with a theory craft that obviously i believe i would like and hopefully they'll be bringing out new cards for every faction and i'm pretty sure i would like to hope that these cards will be coming alongside their mobile release so that's super exciting stuff guys for anyone that's been grinding runeterra for the past few months this is probably like a breath of fresh air and they cannot wait to get involved uh, i do hope to bring out fiddle six alongside the shuttle isles class because he is my favorite uh league of legends uh champion he was the first person i got a pentakill with and i will never forget it i did forget it but i know i got a pentakill but i can't remember how it happened but it was amazing and i had a great time and i have lots of memorabilia with fiddle six anyway guys thanks for tuning in uh why not subscribe you can come check out uh some more of my videos i will most likely love to do uh, more of this video where we talk about the new cards because i don't often get to see when these are posted because i'm asleep but at the moment i'm stuck at home so this is great i'm up all night because i'm an absolute lunatic uh, okay i'm rambling on you guys have a great day peace